Hi guys, how are you doing tonight? Oh, okay. No, I love shows like tonight, mainly because this is the only time you usually get to say that I get to before and after a man. You know? Yeah, and I, you know, I wanted to tell you about this. For Mother's Day, I told my kids that I wanted to have, you know, an air horn. And when they got it for me, they said, well, what are you going to use it for? And I said, well, this is now my ghetto blaster. <laughs> yep, that way when those people decide that they want to be rude and interrupt my privacy inside of my car, that way I could go ahead and invade their privacy too. <laughs> what the heck? It works for me. Now, just a little bit about myself. I'm a single mother of two, <laughs> and it's all my fault because <laughs> I married a redneck. <laughs> yeah. No, I should have known the first time that, you know, he farted in the car and refused to roll down the windows. <laughs> oh, that was bad. It was so bad. So wrong of him to do that. What was even worse, though, was after the first time we made love, he decided he was going to quote his favorite form of poetry to me. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. <laughs> then he shoved my head underneath the covers and cut another one. That was just so wrong. Uh, and also, he complained. He sat there and said, you know, marriage is just nothing but legalized prostitution. <laughs> yep, show me the money. <laughs> I'd like to see it. Yeah, he did. He fought all the way to the altar. But it didn't work anyway. You know, because I got the engagement ring, I got the wedding ring, and he got the suffering. <laughs> so it worked. It was a win-win for me. No, he sat there. He would sit there and, you know, his idea of romance was something like this. You want some of this? You want me to put some gas in your tank? Come back when you got some lead in your nozzle. Thank you.